Hey guys, so in this lesson we are going to learn how to, well not learn, probably just revise, you've probably gone over this in previous years, um, but we're going to look at multiplying and dividing without a calculator, and so we're going to be doing um, uh, calculations that are or, or something like multiplying by 10, multiplying by 100, multiplying by 1000, um, you know, it could go on and on and on. We're also going to be looking at what happens when you divide by 10, dividing by 100, dividing by 1000, and dividing by 10,000. So the way that it works is when you multiply, then you move the decimal right, okay? And when you divide, or let's rather write the word divide, when you divide, then you move the decimal left, okay? The other thing I want you to know is that when these numbers in the front are going to be a one, when they are a one, then we can say the following. You count the number of zeros that you see, and that is how many places you will move the decimal, okay? Um, the number of zeros tells you how many places to move. And that's for dividing as well, okay? So if, for example, someone multiplies by 100, then they're going to move two decimal places to the right. If you divide by 1,000, then you're going to move three places to the left, okay? So let's go practice some examples. So here's our first example. So here we are going to divide. So when you divide, you move the decimal left. Now, many learners say to me, Kevin, there's no decimal here, dude. What are we supposed to do? Now, when you cannot see a decimal, then it's actually hiding at the back there, okay? Any number that doesn't have a decimal, you can imagine that it's at the back. So we are dividing, so we are gonna move the decimal left. And if you look at the number of zeros, there are two. So we are gonna move the decimal two places back. So one, two. And so the final answer would be five, one, two, three, nine, comma, three, four. In this example, we are going to multiply with 100. So when you multiply, you move the decimal to the right-hand side. The decimal would be over there. And then remember, that means two. So we're gonna move it two places. So let's just write it down. So the decimal is currently there. So you go one, two, drop your decimal. Then fill in any gaps with zeros. And then you've still got a decimal at the end, but remember, we don't like to leave our answer with a decimal at the end, and so there is the answer. Now, some of you are thinking, Kevin, I thought we don't like to keep zeros at the end. That is only when you have zeros after a decimal. For example, 412,0600. We do not like to have these because they are coming after the decimal. Okay, let's do another example. So here we're multiplying, so that means we're gonna move the decimal to the right, and there's three zeros, so we're gonna move it three places. So that gives us one, two, three, seven, two, one, three, and now the decimal's here. So we're gonna go one, well, let's first just write it out normally. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and then fill in that little space with a zero, and put your comma, and then because there's a comma at the end now, we don't like to leave it like that, and so that is what the final answer would look like. Here we are going to divide by 10,000. So there are four zeros that we need to use. And because we're dividing, we're gonna go left. So that means we're here, and then we're gonna go one, two, three, four. So we end up with four comma five, two, three, eight, three, two. Here we're dividing, so we're gonna go left, and there's three zeros, so we're gonna go one, two, three, and so that's one, two, three, seven, comma, two, one, three, one, three. Let's do two more examples. So with this one, we are multiplying now, so we're gonna move the decimal to the right three places. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and so we end up with zero, 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 two comma three nine. Now, in one of our earlier videos that we've looked at, we learned that zeros in the front or zero whenever you're busy with um, any numbers when you have zeros in the front like that you can always scratch those out and then if you have zeros at the back of a decimal then you can also scratch those out okay and so that would be our final answer 
Okay, so here we are dividing by 10. So that means the decimal will go to the left and it's only one zero. So we're just gonna move it one place like that until so we end up with one, two, three, comma, two, eight, six, seven, four, three.